Welcome to Our Green Acres, and I'm Teresa. Today's video is going to be a fun one. I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to take some items that I purchased at a yard sale and how I transformed them into some cute French country shabby chic farmhouse decor. I'm also going to tell y'all about a great collaboration that I'm doing with some other YouTube creator friends. So I hope y'all stay tuned. I hope y'all enjoy the video and you get lots of inspiration and ideas for your home. If you haven't joined my Facebook home decor page, I'd love for you to go over and join it and also go over and follow me on Pinterest and Instagram. Okay, the first project we're going to work on, I, I'm going to repurpose a shutter. Now, I purchased this at a yard sale last year, and I paid $1 for it. Now, it's really pretty, the blue color, and it's got some really pretty distressing on it. So, if, you know, if that's the color you go for in your home, that may fit just, you know, perfect. But for my decor, I go for more of the neutrals and the whites. So, I'm going to chalk paint it with the linen white chalk paint and it had a little distressing on it so I kind of went lightly over those areas but I did not want to wake that blue back up so I didn't do a lot of distressing on it but I'm just going to give you a, an idea of something you can do a little bit different with these smaller shutters. I'm going to add some feet to it and as y'all know if you've watched any of my videos I love working with these craft finial feet that I purchased at Lowe's and they're over in the staircase section. So if you're ever looking for some you know some decorative ornate feet or little legs to go on something that's where I get mine. And so I just painted them white. I've glued them to the bottom and it makes a great little table or pedestal riser. So just kind of want to give you a little bit more inspiration and ideas of what you can do with little mini shutters when you find them. Make them into little pedestal and risers. Today's video, I'm joining in with the Fab Four and friends. We're all doing some real neutral spring DIY project pieces. So I hope y'all go over and visit all the other great YouTube creators. I'm going to leave a link to all of their videos down below in my description box. So when you finish my video, please go out and visit their channels, watch their videos. I know they'll have some great content and I know you'll love seeing all the things that they make. Project number two is going to be another yard sale flip. And I purchased two urns, and I'll show you the other one in just a minute because I'm going to uh, I'm gonna flip it. But here is the bigger version. And I got the smaller version that you'll see in just a minute. I got it first, and it was so funny. I bought them from the same lady. She's the lady that has the storage unit she bids on. So she's out once a week, and you just kind of dig through her stuff, and she just has random stuff. So, But it was funny that I, they were kind of like these urns were in the same family family. One's large and one's a little bit smaller. But I'm going to work on the larger one first. And as you can see, I think I paid a dollar or two for this one. And I just chalk painted, I, I'm sorry, I spray painted this one with Rust-Oleum flat white paint. And then I'm going over it with my sanding block. I kind of went back and forth whether I wanted to distress it or not. But I felt like with those, with the texture of it, and it had a good patina on the bottom as a base, I thought it would stress really well. And it did. So you you can see I just went over it with my sanding block really good and always take a damp rag when you get finished distressing because that really brings it all together. The damp rag will actually put a little bit more distressing on it and then it just kind of makes that distressing just, just really come out and pop. So now, you know, it's it's pretty plain. So I'm going to add um, something to the front of it. So I'm going to 
use my trusty little my graphics i went out and i wanted a rooster to make this french country so i just i went to the graphics fairy they have a great selection of some really pretty um french country looking roosters and they also have some that you know have some bright colors to them so if you wanted to put that on it i think that would look good too but i just went with one that was more black and white since i'm just going to kind of go with that with my colors and then i just cut him out I applied some Mod Podge to him, and then I applied him to the front. Now, when you have a piece like this, it can be so versatile because it's two-sided. And I'm going to show you in just a minute how we can flip it over, and you can have two decor pieces for, I guess, the price of one. But um, And I don't know if y'all have priced lace and ribbon lately, or it's always been this way, but when I go to Walmart, you get a little bitty spool of lace or ribbon and it's between four to seven dollars and to me that's kind of expensive so i'm just going to show you i'm just making a, a bow out of fabric because to me i feel like fabric is so you get more bang for your buck so i just took some buffalo check because a lot of times you can find this um you know um fabric by the yard they sell it in those, those little quarter squares at walmart and they have a huge selection so I'm just going to use some buffalo check that I purchased from Walmart last year. And I'm just going to, I just made a fabric bow for it and tied it on. Now how cute is this? It really brought that little French country flair, you know, detail to this piece. And then I'm just going to, you know, put some embellishments in it and I'll show you how we can stage it. Now, like I told you, we've got two sides. Why not go on and put something different on the other side? You know, of course, if you're going to put this in your home where you will see both sides, then you couldn't do this. But if you're going to put it up on a shelf or something and it's only going to be one-sided, then you can just, you know, put something on the other side. You could even put something Christmas themed on it and with Christmas time, flip it around. But I thought it would be so cute for summertime and spring to put a cute little flower truck on it. I love, you know, who doesn't love little vintage trucks, especially with flowers, and I think they scream spring and summer. So I just went out, and I'm going to leave a link to this little truck down below. It's a little free printable. I cut it out, and again, I just mod podged it to the other side. So I'm just going to show you how you can, you know, make your decor piece very versatile, and you've got two pieces um, that you can just interchange whenever you want to and just flip them around. So now I'm just going to style it for you and just let you see some of the ways of how you can use this little French country rooster and then we can flip it over and use a little cute truck. If you like this video so far, I hope you'll hit that like button and also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I'd love for you to. Okay, now I'm going to show you the little small urn I was telling you about. Because like I say, I purchased this from the same lady I got the big one from, but at two different yard sales. So this one's got a really pretty embossed flower on the front. So it's going to do really well. So um, pay $2 for this one. Uh, it's got a great base, but I'm not going to distress this one because when I did, you got more metal coming through and I didn't want that. So I just spray painted this one with Rust-Oleum flat white paint. And then I'm just going to add a bow to it and some florals. And this makes a very pretty little summer and spring centerpiece. And I'm, I'm going to add a little embellishment to it because I felt like that bow just really needed some bling and some sparkle. So y'all always remember to go out and visit Totally Dazzled for all your bling and your um, 
and your sparkle for your craft projects. And I'll leave a link to Totally Dazzle down below. Okay, y'all, th this is the time when I have to tell y'all goodbye till the next video. But I want to tell each and every one of y'all, appreciate y'all for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. And don't forget to go out and check out my description box. And go and check out all the other really um, creative and talented YouTube creators in this little Fab Four and Friends um, collaboration today because i know you won't be disappointed all the links to their videos are down below so please go out and watch all of them and shana thanks again for inviting me to collab on this with y'all i really appreciate it and as always y'all love each and every one of y'all and hopefully i will see y'all in my next video